Good evening again from London, and hello from me, Dr. Dermot Hudson, the chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Duce Idea, chairman of the Korean Friendship Association of the UK, an official delegate of the Korean Friendship Association for the UK, and president of the Association for the Study of Song and Politics of the UK. Uh, now, this is the second of two videos uh, tonight, uh, you know, short uh, videos. And uh, I'm going to talk uh, about the subject of uh, the fake left and the DPRK. And, of course, uh, some people will remember that uh, about a year ago, I also did a video about the fake left attacking people's career. Uh, you know, focusing on the uh, appalling uh, vitriolic article written by John Halliday some uh, 42 uh, years ago. And in this video, I'm going to sort of turn my attention <laughs> to a uh, more contemporary article. Uh, and before I start, you know, I think when... When you see uh, some people who call themselves leftists or even socialists or, you know, in, in extreme cases, even communists, uh, you know, and how they actually do the work of imperialism, they do the work of capitalism, you, you really uh, wonder, because some of these people are really uh, reactionaries, uh, and, you know, you, uh, you wonder why... Uh, they bother to call themselves leftists at all. Uh, a lot of them are, you know, a lot of them are not left-wing at all. And uh, we've recently seen how uh, the Grey Zone website uh, exposed uh, a so-called uh, NATO-loving uh, uh, liberal uh, leftist uh, as a state asset. Anyway... Uh, that's perhaps a bit of digression. Uh, what caught my attention the other week, uh, it was sent in by our KFA UK media monitoring unit down on the south coast of England, um, was an article from the so-called World Socialist website uh, of the International Committee of the Fourth International Sounds really grand, doesn't it, folks? Uh, in fact, um, uh, you know, it's actually one of numerous uh, Trotskyite uh, fourth internationals. And it carried uh, a very hostile, disgusting anti-DPRK article titled COVID-19 Cases Compound Economic Crisis in North Korea, quote-unquote, by one... Ben McGarth. The article is uh, illustrative of how some on the left, and of course uh, there are honourable exceptions to, to this, mindlessly and uncritically parrot the lies of the mainstream media about people's career when they should know better. Throughout the article, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, or DPRK for short, is constantly referred to as North Korea, rather than by its correct title, the DPRK, or Juche Korea, or Socialist Korea. This uh, is just uh, copying the mainstream media and is no different to them. And also, similar to the mainstream media, the article does not mention the Duce idea or Songham idea once. The article also copies cliches from the mainstream media, such as, quote-unquote, impoverished and isolated. Of course, neither of these are true. And the, the uh, DPRK's closure of the border in January 2020 20, was a just and correct measure to prevent the inroad of COVID-19 in the country and actually kept it free from COVID-19 for over two years. Curiously, 
uh, the World Socialist website article tries to link uh, an alleged or unconfirmed missile test both uh, with the uh, DPRK's uh, closure of the border and the outbreak of fever in the DPRK. Strange thinking, which mirrors that of the mainstream media. World Socialist uh, web uh, site also quotes both the South Korean puppet regime and also F- Radio Free Asia, which he actually correctly uh, describes as a mouthpiece for US imperialism. Well, good, but why quote from them? Uh, you know, where where is your sense of anti-imperialism? Uh, uh, you know, why, why are you quoting uh, the lies of the US imperialists when you know that's what they are? The article claims that the DPRK faces both an economic crisis and food shortages, but does not say where the figures for the supposed economic crisis came from and admits that the evidence for the uh, food shortage came, uh, uh, comes from, uh, now wait for it, from the US Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. So, does the World Socialist website actually think that uh, the CIA and Radio Free Asia are somehow objective sources? In fact, the DPRK has a socialist planned economy and an independent national economy, which does not know the words economic crisis. This year in April, despite the intense imperialist sanctions and the closure of the border, the DPRK completed the construction of 10,000 new flats in the Songhua area of Pyongyang, as well as 800 new homes uh, on the Potong Gang Riverside. Another 10,000 new homes are under construction in the Hwasong district of Pyongyang. And also, reading case in A the other day, there's a lot of um, uh, housing construction going on in rural areas in the DPRK and a new giant greenhouse farm is under construction. And we could also mention that rice transplanting uh, is well underway in the uh, DPRK. The situation is quite normal. And uh, the DPRK is rapidly overcoming the uh, COVID-19 outbreak. And, you know, as of today, there was only 51,000 cases uh, compared to the peak on the 15th of May. The actual uh, death toll is 71 uh, people, a fatality rate of 0.002%. Compare this to South Korea which has over 24,000 deaths from COVID-19. To conclude, while some groups in the West who star themselves as socialist or communist have um, theorised and polemicised about socialism, People's Korea has successfully built socialism for the past 72 uh, 70, uh, uh, or so years, without any substantial outside help, under the banner of self-reliance and the great duty idea, and under the leadership of the Great Workers' Party of Korea, and uh, the great leaders of People's Korea, President Kim Il-sung, Chairman Kim Jong-il, and respected Marshal Kim Jong-un. We will uh, continue with our very limited and humble resources to do what we can uh, to uh, expose not only the propaganda of the uh, uh, imperialist mainstream media and the bourgeoisie, but also that of the fake left, uh, the revisionists and opportunists. And we will uh, 
smash uh, the propaganda of the uh, postmodern liberals against uh, people's Korea. And really, when you think about uh, it, um, a lot of the uh, propaganda against people's Korea is rooted in cynicism. Uh, it's rooted in uh, the idea that, uh, uh, you know, a better world is not possible. And, you know, uh, making people accept the established order without question. Anyway, uh, I will stop there. Uh, thank you for listening to this uh, video. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please consider subscribing also to our affiliated channel, KFA uh, UK. And uh, most importantly, uh, we've got a number of events coming up. We've got an online uh, meeting on the uh, 11th of June, next Saturday. And we'll be having also uh, another online meeting or live stream on the 25th of June, which will be on the subject of who actually started the Korean War. And of course, we've got a, another KFA Literature and Poetry evening uh, at the end of June. And, you know, we'd like to perhaps uh, get a few people uh, to march with DPRK flags on the uh, big march on June the 18th. Uh, and lastly, you can also support us by donating to KFA UK and also buying books from our publishing program on lulu.com. I'll put a link uh, in the description of this video. Uh, so I'll say goodbye now and have a great day.